Well, the stage is set for the 15th edition of the crucial BRICS economic summit and leaders representing almost half of the world's population, including India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, have made their way to South Africa's Johannesburg. A central focus of the summit will be the possible expansion of the bloc and the second pivotal discussion will revolve around the bloc's de-dollarization bid. Meanwhile, palpable suspense over the much-anticipated bilateral meeting between India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and China's President Xi Jinping continues to intensify. A short while back, Prime Minister Modi landed at uh, the Waterkloof Airport where he was uh, accorded a traditional welcome. These are visuals coming in from earlier uh, today, just a short while ago in fact. And the Indian Prime Minister also met with members of the Indian diaspora who gathered at the airport to greet him. Um, and later today, of course, he will have a separate diaspora event as well. Now, China and Russia have expressed interest in expanding the group in an effort to grant it greater weight in international affairs. Additionally, over 40 countries have expressed interest in joining the bloc, and 22 have been formally requesting uh, membership. Meanwhile, there are differing views on the expansion among the existing members of the bloc. India has historically been uh, worried about the idea of expansion. It is apprehensive that an expansion uh, would be used by China to increase its influence in uh, the BRICS grouping. On the other hand, de-dollarization has taken a fresh uh, has taken fresh importance for Russia and China. This, as they've increasingly come under sanctions from the West, and while South Africa, Brazil, India have better relations with the West, they too see lesser reliance on the dollar as being a positive for the economic growth and trade potential. The BRICS track record, however, on de-dollarization has been mixed even though China and Russia have successfully reduced their dependence on the dollar for cross-border trade. The new development bank established by BRICS in large part to facilitate the de-dollarization of state lending is largely dependent on the dollar. Let's now shift our focus to the most anticipated question around this year's summit. Will there be a bilateral between India's Prime Minister and China's President Xi Jinping? The India-China border standoff has impacted bilateral ties with minimal diplomatic engagement between the two countries over the last three years. Following his meeting with India's National Security Advisor Ji Doval last month, however, the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi spoke of the two leaders having reached a consensus to restore bilateral ties. Separately, Prime Minister Modi and, Prem and President Xi Jinping also discussed bilateral ties in, uh, at their Bali meeting last month. The Johannesburg meeting, however, comes days after, the chi after China reportedly refused to budge on Ladakh in the 19th meeting of senior military commanders or co-commanders meeting this month. All right, uh, joining us uh, is Alison, who is uh, in Johannesburg at the moment. And Alison, uh, take us through what's happening at the moment. Just a short while ago, Prime Minister Modi arrived uh, in Johannesburg for the BRICS summit. Right, so we are at Johannesburg now. Uh, we are Eventually, at some arrived. point, yeah, uh, let's go across to Sidhan Sibyl at the moment for the very latest on what this BRICS summit means. And Sidhan, uh, BRICS is a major emerging power bloc with three major economies, of course, India, China, Russia. Uh, what is the significance of this meeting as it comes under the backdrop of the current world order? Well, this is the first in-person meeting of the BRICS leaders since 2019 and uh, the significant focus remains on expansion and usage of national currencies. Now, in terms of expansion, we know over 20 countries have applied and the focus is what will be uh, India's focus. India has said it has a positive intent on expansion. But of course, uh, luckily when it comes to this grouping, uh, uh, this grouping focuses on how these uh, five countries uh, can work together at a time of uh, great geopolitical changes. Now, for the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, the focus remains not only these two topics, but also Africa engagement. Remember, uh, there are several African countries who are 
present in South Africa, and uh, this provides ample opportunity for India to reaffirm its ties and also focus on African Union's uh, member strategy. Right, and of course, uh, uh, Sitan, you know, now nearly two dozen countries want to join the BRICS grouping, but India, South Africa, China, and Russia don't always see eye to eye, or they're not on the same per, uh, page as far as that expansion is concerned. Yeah, when it comes to uh, the, uh, the consensus, consensus. All right, we seem to be having a bad line. But, yeah, we, we have Sidan back. Yeah, Sidan, continue. All right, uh, as Sidan was pointing out, of course, uh, not... Uh, we're all not on the same page as far as that expansion is concerned, but China and Russia are really pushing for that expansion of the BRICS uh, summit to include several other countries. Remember, a dozen or more countries are now asking officially to join the BRICS uh, grouping, um, and that is one of the top agendas for this year's BRICS summit. Also, the fact uh, is the other big important issue, of course, is the de-dollarization, uh, whether it can be a counterweight, uh, a local currency dealing, or a common currency dealing could be a counterweight to the dollar. That's uh, so far a far-fetched ambition for the BRICS uh, grouping, uh, but it's something that definitely is on the agenda as far as China and Russia are concerned. The other major issue, of course, are, uh, is the bilateral meetings. Remember, China and India both will be at the bilateral summit, and the much-anticipated meeting between President Xi Jinping and Narendra Modi is also something uh, that is being looked out for, whether that meeting will happen and possible thaw in relations uh, coming uh, after the Galwan clashes uh, three years ago. Since then, of course, relations have been uh, quite bad. And uh, we recently had a meeting of the of NSA Dowell and Foreign Minister of China Wang Yi last month, uh, where both sides confirmed that there were positive steps being taken to normalize the relationship. However, at the core commander meeting recently, uh, this month, uh, we believe that there wasn't any breakthrough in the border talks as well. So those are issues that will be looked at at this as we continue our coverage uh, of the BRICS summit. <laughs> Thank you.